Welcome back. They are one of nature's most effective water filtration systems. And tonight, a group of conservationists is hoping oysters will help in the ongoing cleanup of Fort Lauderdale's polluted waters. CBS 4's Ted Scouten explains. So what we're doing is we are setting these so it sits where the other oysters are growing. That's an oyster catcher that's going into the water in Fort Lauderdale. It's part of a pilot program that aims to help naturally filter polluted waterways. Long before the recent sewage spills, the Coastal Conservation Association had been planning to increase Fort Lauderdale's oyster population. Their numbers have been dwindling over the years. The oysters over many decades have just kind of died off as the water quality in Fort Lauderdale has decreased and has suffered over all of these years. And it's not just from the sewage spills, but it's just from pollution, fresh water, um, over many years, the oysters just can't survive any longer. So right now, we're, we're, targeting, we're targeting this time of the year because when the water starts to warm is when oyster reproduction season happens. Mike Lambricks and his crew are checking out 100 locations around downtown Fort Lauderdale and the southeastern part of the city. They're looking for spots where oysters grow best. Oysters are a natural way to filter the water. The ultimate goal is to have areas that used to grow oysters in Fort Lauderdale to have them grow naturally again. And so when we have this natural system of oysters, we're going to have the filtration again. And one, one oyster, one adult oyster, fi filters 50 gallons of water a day. These oyster catchers attract what's called spat in the water. It's like the seed that begins the oyster growth. Eventually, about 100 oysters will live on each one of these. This is step one, looking for the right place and the right conditions to help oysters grow naturally. We will be able to gather enough data to see in what in what areas and what temperatures and what salinities that these oysters will grow better in and where, where they may not. So now the big question, can you eat those oysters? The answer that I got, absolutely not. Those oysters are there to help naturally filter the water, not for the dinner table. Ted Scouten, CBS4 News.